hi guys welcome to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can control the dates in your sheet or dashboard so what i have shown you here is a simple example where i have dragged the sales over here in rows and in columns i have taken the order date from this sample superstore data which comes with the tab all right so what i need to uh, or what I'm planning to show you is based on the user input, uh, how you can customize your visualization. So input is the start date and end date. So probably start date is 1st of March, end date is 1st of July 2016. And it should show you, this chart should show you only that data. So how we can filter the data based on the custom date ranges specified by the user. All right. So to do that, first thing we need is create two parameters, start date and end date, that will take the input from the user. So to do that, we need order date. Click over here and uh, create parameter. We will say start date. I will select all of the dates and we are good. Um, I will go ahead and duplicate this. And here is my duplicate copy. I'll just click again to rename it and I will say it and date. So I will now show my parameter control to start date and uh, and date over here. So I have a start date. I have an end date through which I can choose anything which I want. But it will not make any change uh, based on what I'm doing. Uh, or a change that I'm making. So what I need to do is is uh, basically create some sort of uh, uh, mechanism through which it can take the input and apply it over here. So what I need to do is uh, create a calculated field. So create calculated field and I will probably say selected um, date range maybe and uh, what I will say is basically order date is greater than equals to start date and um, order date is less than equal to end date. All right, so that's basically our range which we need to pick it from here. Start date is here, so it should be always greater than or equal to start date and end date, the order date, it should always be less than equal to end date so that this this particular range is basically helping you to select that region and click apply and click ok after that you need to drag this field which you have just created the selected date range and if you observe it's basically a true and false so you put it over here in the filter and click on true once you click on true click apply and ok so now as you can see our date is basically starting from here which is near to Jan 2014 and ending it on the May 2014. But if I want, I can let's say change it to 2015 and select a date which is 31st. Now my chart is changing. Similarly, if I want to make any change, let's say um, 1st May 2014 to 31st May 2015, here is my date range. So that's about it. That first you need to create two parameters from the date range, which is plotted on your chart. Then create a calculated field to take the input from the parameter and then put that calculated uh, uh, date range over here in the filter and mark the true option to get your chart filtered based on the custom range which user is specifying. So that's pretty much it about uh, this tutorial and I'll meet you in the new video, a new topic.